S Escort going through. So there's a, a bottleneck there with the emergency services and taking cars from in group, but it is open. Uh, Lake Kajola was open at uh, 4 a.m. this morning. Yesterday it was closed because of fires. However, it is bumper to bumper to Milton Aladana. So it's typical holiday traffic going home to Sydney. Um, the road south to Bega and then up to um, uh, Kuma and Canberra is open. So the Princess Highway is open all the way to, to Bega. Then you turn right up the Browns Mountain, Snowy Mountains Highway to Kuma, then Canberra. It was a 10 hour trip, it is now down to about three and a half hours, but um, it is still slow. Information from the Emergency Operations Centre about the fire front. Um, it's going to impact Naruma from the north and south, so from the north, it'll impact from Bindi down to Dalmini. Uh, from the south, it'll be from Karana to Cabago. Um, the impact time that we've been given this time is from 11 a.m. tomorrow morning with a five hour duration. The fire impact is from 11 a.m. tomorrow with a duration of five hours. Then a weak southerly will come through after that and it will push it back onto the room. Temperatures at this stage are going to be in the low 30s, not in the 45 like the first predicted, with winds around 3 kilometres an hour. Okay, information from the Bega Emergency Operations Centre. So that's south, the southern areas. Um, for the, uh, the Bega Shire Council. <coughs> Princess Highway is open to Bega, I've already said that. Um, they are doing a door knock to it for a leave now, basically from Bermagui to Tafra. Um, it's not an evacuation notice, it's just a leave now. There are no evacuation orders at all anywhere. Um, and then if you are, if there is an evacuation order that comes in, it must be from an official person, not just someone wearing a high vis jacket. It has to be from police, VRA, fireys. They've got to be official. There are a lot of people going around town at the moment with high vis telling people to leave. We've been having this for the last two weeks. The last three days, there's been people in Dalmini, Naruma, and Kyanga telling you to leave. There is no evacuation order on. If you're going to leave the room at today, you must be your you must be at your destination by tonight. Okay, wherever your end point's going to be, you must be there tonight. If you can't be there tonight, don't go. Fuel. Uh, the Shell service station has no fuel. Matilda's got a fuel delivery, but they can't find the person to pump it out, turn it, open up the shop. And the BP's not open. Um, we've been asked about a few basic things. The fire's near me app. So to monitor the fire, you keep an eye on the fire's near me, uh, live traffic app and the ABC. 8.10 a.m. And Bigger Bay Radio and 2EC have joined together and using the one uh, radio station as well. They're doing five minute updates from what I understand. Um, <coughs> 6 03 a.m. Okay. Um, on the Fires Near Me app, up the top left hand corner, there's three lines. If you hit that, there's some things to do before, during, and after the fire. Read it. Memorise it, practice it. Can't, can't make you think more, do that. Um, some basic information to do. If you're staying at home, reverse your cars in the driveway, so if you have to drive out, you drive out rather than you have to reverse into unknown areas. Wear cotton clothing. <coughs> if you are camping, don't camp in nylon tents. Sparks don't like nylon. Basic sense. 
The next um, information is the next briefing of the AOCs are about 10 o'clock. Any updates that we get, we will post on the white notice board, so keep checking the notice board for any more updates. Uh, our next briefing uh, will be at 4.30. We may have an early one, we'll let you know anyway, but definitely a 4.30 uh, briefing this afternoon to let you know if there's any major changes. Thank you. Of what's occurring now in our area, like we've got um, notice now of Mendoran, VRA, uh, Lithgo, Dubbo. The resources are getting to us. Um, there was a question yesterday about bulldozers and all those sort of things. I mean, those things are going on. We can't see them. Yes, they're not at your back door running a line through, but they're out in the bush now doing that and preventing the best they can. Um, so don't think. Just because you can't see them, they're not out there doing the job. Like everyone would have seen how many bulldozers have come through town. Um, leaving work last night, there's probably I call six fire trucks coming through, like um, retained fireys and fire units from Sydney. And then after that, I saw another six go past my house. Um, so the resources are here. There's no reason to panic. Just reiterating, water is not going to be turned off. The electricity is not going to be turned off unless that you know if, it, if there's a fire that impacts it it obviously go down so you have to be prepared for that <coughs> with your water there's no point hosing everything down now wait for that before the impact um i just can't reiterate that enough there was apparently there was people last night hosing down blocks and everything else that water's now dried up and probably you, you've achieved nothing in the same situation at my house, I'm back on the Bedalla State Forest, so I'm in the same situation as everybody else. Um, you know, I've cut trees, I've done whatever I can to prepare for what's going to occur. That's all you can do. It may not occur as well, but you have to be prepared. In relation to, can I just have a show of hands of anyone who's intending to leave the room today? If you're intending to go from the room today, you've got to be at your location where you want to be by tonight. <coughs> if, if you can't do that by tonight, then there's no point going. My, my suggestion from what I've heard on the radio this morning, I'd be going, still going south. Um, it's a massive bottleneck up around Milton Nulla Nulla, and they've got their own issues up there as well. So you're really going from one problem area to another. At least going south, you're avoiding some of that, that problem. Um, what I might do is take a few questions. 